Okay, first and foremost, I suddenly remember the password to this account. Hi everyone, welcome back to it's Keisha and Kat here with the fresh way of the content. I haven't said that long. I've left you guys for six months. I just finished getting done. Wait, what? I just finished filming a video for my main channel and I was like, you know what? Today is a day where I give the people them what they want. Basically on the channel, we post things that I wouldn't post on my main channel, like conversations that I wouldn't have on my main channel. I definitely do a lot more reactions, but copyright is a bitch. And I don't want them to come and chop my money. So, um, we're going to figure out some things. But I definitely want to post videos that I really want to put out there on the internet. But I just wouldn't put on my main channel for whatever reason. So, here we are. Let's go ahead and talk about the forgotten Disney Channel star, Bridget Mendler. You're probably like, who? Let me insert some pictures. Or better yet, you're going to love who you turn out to be. Hanging there, baby. I'm not going to lie to you. No disrespect or anything. But just like you have your top five i have my top five and good luck charlie just isn't my top five disney channel show like it just isn't it, 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 it just isn't all right but one thing i can say is that theme song had me hooked like i'd be quoting it over my main channel like hang in there babe. you're gonna like it, i'm sorry she ate with that anyways i don't really care about her don't know what she was doing i know she had a song called hurricane tornado thunder lightning something struck i don't know bitch but she had a song and then she just went away and then we just never saw her again she was also lemonade mouth lemonade mouth was such a good disney movie i feel like it's so underrated i know it's on disney plus i watched it during lockdown um i kind of want to watch it again though like it was a really good movie and it felt different from the other disney movies it didn't feel too like produced it felt like it was like even the lighting was like so dim and dull and like you know what i mean it was it's a good movie if you want to watch a good feel good movie I definitely would recommend that. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about Bridget Mendler because she is making some headlines. Oh my goodness. Not only has she adopted a little baby. Oh my goodness. She has her own business. I'm like, oh my, I love to see it. It's, it's kind of good to see people not like do the whole, you know, have a musical career, even though she did that for like a couple of years and then like no shade or anything. She had like one good song. I mean, not one good song, sorry. She had like this one hit and then like just went, you know. Um, but it's so interesting to see some people like, you know what, I want a normal job. You know what? This Hollywood thing just isn't for me. You know, I'm, I'm probably, I might not be getting opportunities. Let me just go and work. And I have to applaud her. I think that she is currently like trending right now on social media because everyone's just like, oh my goodness, Bridget Mendler. Like she's always like randomly making these headlines like every two, three years. Like we would randomly hear about Bridget Mendler. And she's like, oh my God, her. Where is she at? I think people will automatically, automatically compare her career to like the Miley Cyrus, the Selena Gomez, Demi Lovato's. Stop it stop it okay because i'm gonna be very real with you ha miley cyrus already had her career like panned out for her like she was automatically going to be a musician a superstar it was already in the making yeah her show was already successful not to say that Glut charlie wasn't because i think it went on to have three or four seasons which um disney sees as like uh, <laughs> like the success like to go on and have four seasons of a show on disney channel was amazing it's, it's an amazing thing it's a privilege and i think that she killed it and she did her thing and she has people who obviously love her but i think she hasn't been a disney girl or hasn't even been in the conversation for a very long time so to see her going out and about and doing her own thing the bitch is killing it and i feel like it's so iconic like i'm so sorry it's not every day oh my god like i'm gonna have this built-in musical career even though slay love that do people still say slay it feels wrong that i just said that no do you know what's worse than slay fleek eyebrows on fleek do you know what that though it's silly <laughs> but um yeah so let's get on to a bit of bridget mendler's story just in case you don't know who she is so bridget claire mendler it doesn't get more american than that um is an american actress singer songwriter executive and businesswoman and that's on period um she first became known as a child actress with her early credits including the films alice upside down oh my gosh she wasn't the click the click and labor pains uh, she was born the 18th of December 1992, which currently makes her 31 years old. She was born in Washington, D.C. Um, she went to the University of Southern California in 2016. Uh, she also like did she also went to Massachusetts Institution of Technology and Harvard University. But I know that's right. Um, I just like her. Like I really like her. She was she played Juliet on Wizards Waverly Place um she's had a few she's had a few moments let's be real um let's get on to this headline that has everyone like oh hey bitch how are you doing so let's go ahead and
and check out this Forbes article. To be honest, yeah, I can't look at Forbes the same ever since that whole Kylie thing. But that's just me though. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm just getting my laptop out. I'm just trying to like pull it up for you guys, show you guys exactly what it is that I see on my screen. I know you guys miss me so much. I smash the like button. I'm sorry, I won't leave you guys. I won't leave you guys this long again. I won't. Six months is crazy. But at least you've been seeing me on my main channel. So like, is it that crazy though? But like I know you guys miss me over in here especially on my spam account they've been saying keisha bitch you need to figure out your, what your password is log in and drop a video and you know what you guys are absolutely right so here i am so the headline here says disney channel actress bridget mendler launching space data startup are you dumb what i'm sorry like i'm just like mm -hmm. Bridget, Men Bridget Mendler, an actress and singer best known for her roles in Disney Channel's Good Luck Charlie and Lemonade Mouth, is adding a CEO title to her resume with her satellite data startup, Northwood Space. Bitch, I don't care much about that, but now I suddenly do. Should I say that on the internet? I probably should care about things like that, shouldn't I? So Mendler will serve as CEO of Northwood Space, which plans to produce ground stations or antennas on the earth that connect and send information to satellites. She announced it in a tweet on Monday. Bitch, all I'm hearing is the bitch is she's gonna make some money off of this. She's smart, intelligent. Yeah, I have my Disney money. I'm gonna use it to invest. But I'm not on this whole musical thing anymore. I might give you a local song here or there, maybe ask me in the next five years. But for now, I'm on the space-ish. Is it just me? It's kind of like, why am I fangirling? The bar is in hell, isn't it? Like, why am I fangirling? Like, I'm sorry, but I kind of want to meet Bridget Mendler now. I think this is so iconic. I think that, that this is just, this is everything to me. Like, as soon as I saw the headline, I was like, nah. Nah, stop it. Like, girl. Are you being for real? She's being for real. She's actually being for real. Shout out to you, Bridget Mendler. You're never going to see this video. Maybe you will. She's iconic. You know, I don't, I don't want to use the word iconic just for any and everyone. I'm not the type of person just like, you know, she's iconic. Slay, oh, yeah, yeah. No, she is actually iconic. The startup will aim to build a data highway between Earth and space. And will focus on quickly producing and deploying ground stations to facilitate the large amount of data being sent as the space industry continues to grow. Do you know what? Get in there whilst you can. I feel like get in there whilst you can. Do you know what I mean? This, this whole space thing, like, girl, I don't know where this planet is going. <laughs> I'm sorry but like i would I, she's actually inspiring me you know she's inspiring me to boss up i can't remember last time i was inspired by a celebrity <laughs> like oh my god shout out to you bridget Mendel. this is so different i think everyone's just kind of like oh my god slay because you clearly are an intelligent woman you went to harvard um you seem to really be about your books and your education so i love that for you um Mendler said Northwood Space is launching with $6.3 million in initial funding backed by investors. Oh my God, I love that for her. Including Founders Fund, which was founded by Peter Thiel, who's worth $7.3 billion according to Forbes estimations. Oh, there's probably like maybe $2 billion then. I'm joking. Forbes, they got it wrong once. All right, let me leave them alone wow so she's got the investors up her ass too like she's literally got like the t she's got oh people really believe in this oh wow people are like yep i see the vision for this oh she's about to be a really wealthy woman oh my goodness she's like you know what i'm not i'm not a musical girly i'm a space girly oh, oh i love that for her and then andreessen horowitz co-founder of mark andreessen who's worth 1.8 billion dollars and also capital this is huge oh my god like i know i'm joking around i'm like you know ah, this is amazing bridget Mendes said that she fell in love with space law at the federal communication commission space where she worked in 2022 according to her linkedin profile oh, and came up with the idea for the company during covid19 pandemic with her husband and co-founder engineer griffin cleverly doesn't get more american than that oh my god the startup will reportedly test its first connection to satellite in orbit later this year i'm going to follow this woman on instagram i never did before because i'm not gonna lie to you yeah i don't know what she would give but it wasn't much but now she's giving she's giving i i think i want to be all about space now space is getting easier along so many different dimensions but no but i'm sorry but 
shout out to all the people the astronauts and the other people who love space and would go up you guys have a different type of brain you do you do you don't care about pop culture you don't give a damn about celebrities you care about saving this planet you care you care the things that i should start caring about oh my goodness she just woke me up you know what bridget mandela i i think we should go for a drink i really want to get into your mind i would love to like this is so good i know it sounds like i'm being sarcastic because when is keisha ever nice that's what you're probably thinking girl i'm a very nice person just get to know it you must you must be new here oh my god my comb is literally stuck to my okay we're good oh my this is so nice oh my this is so nice why do i feel like crying oh it's not because of her it's because i'm literally going for a breakup you know the ones where like you just start crying random randomly during a day or like you just start being like oh my god <laughs> um this is so good oh my god so bridget Mendo had long teased to fans that she had an announcement on the way which many interpreted to be a sign of new music was to come in november 2022 bridget Mendo tweeted hello world garnering 145 or 140,000 likes from excited fans um, and said sit tight for news garnering more than 80,000 likes she clarified in a follow-up post a year later that the news will not be what you expect oh my goodness was she she <laughs> oh. she acknowledged her fans desire for new music after announcing north world space on monday telling a fan who lamented the long way ever heard of satellite radio oh 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 i need to meet this babe there's not many people i want to meet because of my anxiety like i feel like some people just want me feel really uncomfortable like ugh, like you know rub it in my face that i'm a, you know we're not on the same level but bridget Mendel just seems like she's very down to earth isn't she i mean we, you don't know her either but like she just seems really down to earth i love that for her i think she's a i think she's i think she's have i said this one already iconic i think she's iconic i love that her, her career has gone in a completely different route um I hope that can inspire a lot of people to like, you know what? Get your education. Stay in school, kids. I, I think it's very important. Um, I think it, it we're also fixated on being Instagram buddies and influencers, and those things are cute and they can pay you some good money, let's be real. But like, stay in school. We still need people who like are smart. We need we need smarty pants. We need people using their brains to like inspire the youth, you know, to keep things afloat. Like Bro, I wouldn't want everyone to be a goddamn Instagram influencer, YouTuber. Like, love that too. Great. I, I love that we have people who are interested in those things. But where the brainiacs though? Because I'm not going to lie to you. I can't remember the last time I had a conversation with a very smart person. Actually, no, one of my friends. Yeah, fair enough. Where the lawyers at though? Like, I, where, the, where the doctors at though? And I don't mean the illegal ones who literally watch people's face for a living over on TikTok. Like, I genuinely am so, like, this really just, like, woke me up. Like, wow. Like, I love people making boss moves, especially women. Like, and I love when they go away for a bit and it's like, they, it, but they can still make the headlines. Like, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, my God, I love it. Do you know what? I don't love heartbreak. Anyways, guys, I'm going to conclude this video over here by saying shout out to Bridget Mendler. Um, Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. And, yes, I'll catch you guys real soon for a brand new video, whenever the hell that is. But just know it'll be a good one. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs>